Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, I'll have a few um, um, here answer a few questions uh, concerning once again 19H2 the latest version of uh, Windows 10 which is what's supposed to arrive to uh, our PCs in the next weeks or so. Um, one of the things that a lot of you have been asking is is it safe to uh, you know go and, and install that now and I, t I strongly recommend that you don't you know like I say I'm the guy that's doing it on the guy that should probably be doing it for you um, because 19h2 has one little thing that's different from all the previous updates and it's that it's comes in, it comes in two different forms so here you see I've got 18363.10022 but as also there's another one that's uh, 18363.10 something like 387 that are kind of slightly different the fact also that there's even a 19h2 that is officially 19h2 but still not it's, it's still version 1903 which is 18362.10000 you see how complicated it is so we're not really sure what version you're getting when you actually update to this that's why I you know I have it installed let me deal with that uh, and show you the stuff the new things but uh, don't, you know, I don't really don't recommend unless you really want to just have fun and, you know, have a spare PC that you want to play around with. But don't install this as your main uh, Windows 10 version right now. I know some of you like to have the latest, latest version all the time. Wait for it to uh, at least be an official thing that I will say, okay, it's official, you can do it, and you'll have cumulative updates after that. Because right now it's totally unclear what's happening and we're not really sure exactly where we are at. But uh, I have installed it because I know that it's feature complete. So what I've shown you in new features in that little review is really what we're getting uh, in there. So that's one of the things. Uh, and yes, it's coming through uh, Windows Update. So that means that once it's going to be available and you're, um, if you're in 1903 or whatever, you'll go to all, you know, uh, update and security and here you'll click Windows updates and in the Windows updates you will actually have the official um, you know, cumulative update that will bring you to that last or latest version of uh, Windows 10 19H2. A lot of you have been asking me uh, about the sound problem so um, in 1903 in one of the um, updates one of the things that happened in the updates is that um, some of you have lost sound or have lower sound or have problems with the sound and remember for those of you in 1903 that have that problem it's a question of turning off all the extra effects I actually posted a video on the channel explaining how to get your sound back the uh, problem is not with Windows actually the problem with the sound is a problem with the fact that manufacturers have kind of found or done an, a new way of dealing with the sound effects and the sound the way the sound is actually delivered through Windows it actually uh, created a problem for those of you that have some specific sound hardware and that use some of these effects um, they are actually going to roll back meaning that in an update what's going to happen is that that fix will be removed or that new way or that change if you want because it's not really a fix is uh, that done in uh, 1909 or in this 19H2 version? Uh, it's, it's unclear. We don't really know exactly what they've done in here. So is it fixed or not? Uh, I, I, it's anybody's guess. Make sure that you have the latest update of uh, 1903 if there is such a problem. Because they did say that they will roll it back. For the rest, like I said in previous video, the performance is good. Things work well not that much changes a lot of you have been asking me is there enough changes in here to for me to go here and do this and change my no honestly most of you will not even notice pretty much not notice anything in here uh, like a lot of the versions of Windows 10 in the past a lot of you will not see really much details or anything new it is not a big change so you know if you work well, if you're on 1903 and it's perfect, uh, if you're on 1809 and it works well, there's really no need to move on. You know, just just stay wherever you are and it's fine actually. 
let me deal with that let me show you the new stuff let me show you and, and go forward you can see that through here and uh, if you eventually move on well eventually it's gonna be it's gonna be there it's gonna happen so um, that's for sure we're hoping that tomorrow on the Microsoft event tomorrow morning that they uh, possibly will actually announce this so that is uh, what we are hoping for and hopefully this is what's gonna happen tomorrow we might have an announcement an official announcement and maybe an official name of what is possibly the October 2019 update. So uh, if you have questions, anything else, uh, please do so. And I, I just want to say again, don't, uh, you know, don't don't install this now. Uh, wait for it to be an official thing that comes through. It's going to be the best thing. And uh, yes, it should update the media creation tool at that time with the new uh, or latest version of uh, Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.